Hi everyone, it's Matt. Welcome to Collaboration Coach. And in this video, I've got three more planner tips for you, especially for owners. And before we get started, just want to say that we're posting every week at the moment. So if you don't want to miss anything, then please subscribe to the channel. Okay, so I've got three tips. First one is copying a plan. So making a copy of an existing plan. Second is to add another plan to your group. So if you've got a group with a plan already, you can add another plan to it. And the final one is to assign tasks so they show up in other people's to-do apps. So let's get started with number one, copy a plan. So you have to go to the planner app for this one. So you're gonna have to go into the browser and I'm here logged in in Edge to planner and I'm looking at my marketing campaign plan. And you'll see on the top of every plan, there's these tabs, board charts and schedule. Next to there, you've got an ellipsis and you can hit the copy plan option in that menu. And when you do that, it asks you to name the copy of your plan. So I'm just gonna call this imaginatively marketing campaigns two. You get the option to choose public or private as well at this stage, and you can add a group description. And once you're done, all you need to do is hit copy plan. After a short pause, your copy is gonna show up in this recent plans list and you can see Here's my marketing campaigns to plan, and it's been copied with all the buckets and all the tasks in place. So it's a massive time saver if you just wanna take an existing plan and make a copy of it. Okay, so this next one is all about creating multiple plans for the same group. If you come to new plan, press the new plan button, it's gonna ask you for a plan name, I'm gonna call this marketing project. So imagining the marketing department has spun up a new project and they need a new plan for it. I'm gonna keep it private, but I'm also gonna choose this link, add to an existing Office 365 group. Because just creating a new plan actually creates a new group as well. But what we wanna do here is add this new plan to an existing group. So we hit this link here, which takes us to all the groups that are available. I'm gonna choose the marketing campaigns group because I know there's already a couple of plans for that. I'm gonna hit choose group and now it's gonna add this to the group. So now if I create a plan, now I have a new marketing project plan attached to the marketing campaigns group. So I've got multiple plans for the same group. This last tip allows plan owners to assign tasks to people in their plan and that person will get a task in their to-do app based on the task you created in Planner. So let me show you what I mean. I'm logged in here into the browser as Alex, and I have a plan called Marketing Campaigns, and I'm gonna create a new task called Draft Presentation, and I'm gonna set a due date, and I'm gonna assign it to Megan. There she is. So when I create this, add task now you can see i've got a new task there draft presentation due on the 17th of the 6th and it's assigned to megan now i'm going to switch to the to do app and now this time i'm logged in as megan and you can see in this assigned to me list which is a relatively new list you can see there's the draft presentation task that's just automatically popped up there and because it's got a date attached to it it also shows up in the planned list. You can see it's there too. So by virtue of setting a date and assigning it to someone, it shows up in their to-do app. Now, anyone can use that in to-do on Windows, in the browser and on their phone. And you can choose not to use it if you want to. So if you go into the profile of the person here, so if I go to settings and scroll down, you can see you can actually toggle assigned to me on and off which will drop that assigned to me list. So you don't have to have that if you don't want to, but it's really useful because it means that you don't have to look at planner and you don't have to recreate the task in your to-do app anymore. All right, that's your lot. The three tips for planner, copying a plan, adding another plan to your group and assigning tasks in people's to-do lists. So thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.